Hi everyone, my name is Sanella and this is a short lesson on how to make your static website upload it to S3, how to make it dynamic through Lambda and API Gateway and some JavaScript code and SES. So for example, this whole page is static, but if you have a leave a review or book now, that would be dynamic. You don't have to be paying anything for this. I mean, uploading a HTML S3 is almost nothing. And then add to that Lambda API Gateway SES, it's not going to cost you anything. So you don't have to be having signing up for Wix or whatever, paying a monthly subscription. You can do all this for free and it's really easy. Basically for free. So if you add something like this and then submit, it's going to say thank you for your review, it will be posted shortly. And you can then you can pick and choose. Let's say somebody leaves you a nasty review, you don't want to leave, you don't want to post it. So you don't need to have that. But you're going to get an email. Uh, like here's one example. Like if I wrote, want to go sailing, it's going to, yes, it's going to show up. Be careful with this message because it's coming from here via Amazonies.com. You're going to create an SES email through which you're going to be getting all these messages every time somebody contacts you. And like I said, it's not going to cost you anything. So don't worry about the cost. I mean, it's like a, oh, I don't know the exact price, but it's like for every million request in Lambda, it's a cent or something like that. It's really cheap. So you don't have to worry about any of this. All right. So how do you do that? You need to in your this let your, your this is your index page leave a review here submit to api event you need to in your javascript folder you need to create here i have two um, files one of them says thank you for your review it will be posted shortly and the other one says um booked you will receive an email shortly so if i was to go to book now and do a similar thing. This one has a phone. The other one didn't have a phone option. So you can just change that in that JavaScript code. But when you create a Lambda and API Gateway, you just need one, one Lambda function and it's Node.js function and one API Gateway and it's going to work. So testing. Then the message will be booked. You're going sailing. You'll receive an email shortly. So how do you do this? How do you create Lambda, Connected to API, Gateway, SES? How do you connect all these dots and receive emails telling you what's happening? So Lambda, basically you create, you, you click on, I mean, if you know anything about AWS, you should know how to do some of these things. You just say create function, you name that function, you pick a role, um, you pick a basic Lambda role, so you add SES, you verify the email address that you want to use. And now here, API Gateway is connected. You create API Gateway too, and you connect them, the endpoint. You're going to use this endpoint, this whole thing where it says contact us. You're going to use that on your in your JavaScript file, like right here. And here, two places. All right, so these are these two files are the same except for one has a phone number, the other one doesn't, the phone number section and the message at the end is different. So that's basically it. You connect all of this, you need a code. Uh, you don't need this monitoring, sorry. So as you can tell, it's a Node.js 8.10. I've named it mail forward FWD and the way it looks is like this. So this email is the one that I've verified through SES. So you just go to SES, you verify that email so you can be getting emails like this from uh, Amazon SES.com. Okay, so I'm going to give you all this code. So it's just going to replace this. So what you need to do is replace this, create Lambda function. So it looks like this. So when you click on test, it works. It says successful, succeeded, create API gateway. So you're going to go to API gateway. 
you need to create a post method. You need to create a stage. You can call it whatever you want. Let me just show you this. I mean, if you, if you have created API gateways before, you should know how to do this. So, so basically, um, I put this under stages prod. So if you click here, post, this is the one that you're going to use that shows up in Lambda and that you're going to use in your JavaScript. All right. And then an index, as I said, you put it um, here submit to API event and you also add it up here in the head. So you can download all these documents and just um, make it suitable for you. But that's that's shortly how to do that. And in SES, email addresses, you see this one, verified. I've also verified this one. But basically you're verifying your email address and they send you a confirmation and that's it. It's very easy. I hope you liked this lesson and if you have any questions just contact me. Thank you.